a royal welcome to begin a trip on India's most luxurious train. A special train that can carry just over 100 passengers at a time. It begins in Delhi and the first stop is Agra to see the Taj Mahal. From there, it travels through the state of Rajasthan, stopping at palaces and wildlife reserves for the remaining seven days of the journey. The Indian rupee has fallen more than 20% this year, bringing the economy to a grinding halt. But that means foreigners can get much more for their dollars. And on board India's most luxurious train, everybody is happy to splurge. Luxury doesn't come cheap. The tariff for a room like this one starts at $580 and can go up to $770. But with two restaurants and bars and a gym and even a spa on board, it does promise a world-class journey. Being a luxury train, it caters mainly to foreign tourists. The season begins in September and it runs till the end of April. But tourists have a mixed reaction to the dollar gains. They make more profit than, than we get the savings. Uh, we wouldn't know the difference because we pay in U.S. dollars. So when we pay in U.S. dollars, if the rupee goes up and down, they still charge us the same amount of money. The managing director of the Rajasthan Tourism Department, which runs the train, says they've seen a 30% upsurge in bookings since the rupee started its downward spiral. The foreign tourists feel that uh, this is the best time when they could enjoy and uh, also take the pleasure of doing the train. Though otherwise also it was not very difficult for them to afford this train. But this time we could have much more attraction for the people to travel on the train. Almost uh, for 55 to 60 personnel staff are on the train. Two attendants, uh, captains, we call them saloon captains, they are there on eight guests, which is more than royalty. The tourism department says they're nearly sold out for the next three months. And they'll be hoping that the stronger dollar will make tourists open up their wallets and spend just a little more.